Everybody. On behalf of Title Waves and Penguin Random House India, I'd like to welcome you all to the book launch of The Kiss of Flies by Imran Hashmi and Bilal Siddiqui. This is a very, very proud moment for us. The book has already done very well. It's a best-selling book and we're finally able to launch it here in Mumbai. So thank you all of you for being here. Please welcome all our panelists with a huge round of applause. This event is also super, super special because we have the real hero of the book, Ayan, here to launch the book with us today. So although most of you are friends, family and fans and you know all the people here already, we have Hussain Zaidi here, India's number one crime writer, writer of many books from Black Friday to Roundy to by and also a uh, person whom we publish Blue Soul books with. It's a real pleasure and honor to work with you, Sen. I'm so glad that you're here with us Thank you. today. Thank you. Thank you. Imran Hashmi, of course, actor of blockbuster Bollywood films, but now also a best-selling author. So this is another feather in his cap. Thank you so much for being here. Ayan, how are you feeling? Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hey! So he, he's the person why the book happened. He's the real hero. Uh, most of you who would have read the book. Yeah, 
young guy 21 year old bilal siddiqui at his age people chase skirts look after girls but this man is writing books after books i am really envious of him his first book was a correction a six how could you go wrong with that thank you the book is about him where he is discovering his own Self, what is discovering the was? Oh, sorry, six now. Yeah, six now. <laughs> At that time, you were four. But how he was hand holding his parents? You mean three? I was three when I met him. So three year old is helping his parents, and now he says to learn the deeper meanings of life and how. Imran himself had so many places said that he gathered so much from his own child. The way he was maturing, the way he was handling first he the the very difficult traumatic surgery, and then after that chemotherapy sessions of chemotherapy and the, how he was losing his hair. But the way he handled everything so bravely and so courageously is something that we all should take a leaf from and learn in life. In fact, the last chapter of the book is so fascinating. That I've read it thrice so far, and every time I read it, I feel like crying. <laughs> It's about three and a half year old who has come through, <laughs> gone through so much in life, and still he wants to participate in a race against the wishes of his father. Imran has been a hero. You have seen him beating up so many baddies in the movies, and you have seen him as a brave man in the movies. But even he could not face that how his young son decided to race, take part in the race, and he ran throughout despite he falling at least thrice in the race. But the way this boy finished the race and then he showed a thumbs up sign to his father is something which will bring your heart to your throat. You must read this book for the reason of seeing the real life courage of a father and a son, and how we all. Of course, see so much of guys in our life, but I'm saying that when we see these stories, when we see the real life stories of a father and son going through it, you will understand that yes, there are people who go through this and they still survive and turn out far braver than what they were earlier. So when I went to Iran once about two and a half years ago and asked me to write the book, he was very reluctant. He was not sure. So after that, when he agreed to write the book and when he discussed all those unknown facets of his life. you will find that those are very interesting and the book is so unputdownable that three people who have read authors have said that wish that they were in the place of bilal siddiqui and they were in this place to write this book and author this book with imran so i will now ask these guys to speak and tell you about their journey and what they went through and how they thought about writing 